Hey everyone, Rascal here and Mama. Welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the anime Inazuma Eleven Aries. Yes, and we know before you ask, we have not seen the other twenty million series. <laughs> now we're backwater. Yes, we're not kidding. Backwater Island is in danger of being destroyed. And no, not by backwater. <laughs> Sonny Wright and his football team survived to become the next Inazuma to save it. And football here is soccer. Right. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get some future podcasts and want to pause videos. Yes. So, Inazuma is apparently a franchise, and we didn't even know it. And it's an anime series. I think you said it was originally a game. Yes. And then it was an anime series that ran for quite a while. And this different uh, arcs. Right. So each series had a different arc and number of seasons. Right. Now this one we saw is the most recent one. Because when we actually saw a bit of the original in Azuma, it was a whole different team. Yes. So in here, this is sort of like a next generation type series. Like these are the new kids. This is the new team. New skills and everything. So I understood that's what it was supposed to be. Now... This had been on demand for... Played with, human, played with humans and aliens. Right. <laughs> yes. And this had been on our on-demand service for a while. And we had seen it only the first episode, like, half of it once and then never again. And then years later we saw it and, like, they still got on here somehow. Let's go ahead and see it. It's an anime. And the reason we stopped originally is because within the first five minutes, the main... The, the MC's mom dies. No and joke. We stopped. <laughs> yeah. But then it was like, you know what? It's an anime. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We've learned now not to, you know, cut things off immediately like that. We give it two or three episodes before we stop if it sucks. And this one was so freaking hilarious. <laughs> I could not stop watching. It was, it's like a train wreck. There are episodes you can't stop watching it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So when you see this team, I kept thinking that the other seasons were this team and it was like how they came about, but no, it's just this team already exists, they're already friends, they're already working together, and you're just seeing them play football. So that was a little weird to see. There was no origin or anything. They were just a team already. Because I really want to know the origin because when you look at this team, it looks like they're all from a bunch of different shows and they threw them together in one show and called it a team. And we kept recognizing characters we know we're not kidding you there's a character in here that looks just like Roddy Soul. yes I mean just like him including the glasses we're like Horikoshi you watched him in so far yes <laughs> and we saw several characters we saw Captain Hitsugaya yes um uh, wait, okay, you just said Roddy Soul. One looked like Senku from Dr. Yes, Stone. Yes. One looked like Taiga from Toradora. <laughs> it was amazing and yes just in case you were wondering there's a lot of favorite voice actors for anime that are in here, including Johnny Young Bosch. Right, and Bryce Pappenbrook. Yes, and we were so excited because, of course, now we've watched so much, we know them, so we hear them. Right. And then we saw the end credits, like, oh, wow. How? <laughs> and the characters, as I said, they all look like from different shows. And we're not saying that to just, like, say, oh, they look weird. They look like they don't belong in the same show together. They all are different heights, shapes, sizes. There's one girl. Uh, they all look like they're from different animes. They put them together. One looks like the size of a gnome. One is a, a big as a house. One sounds like Patrick Starr. And they just all are just friends and... And you don't know how or why. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got they've got students that are in middle school that look older than ten years. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a joke. laughs> yes, they go against different teams about every episode. They sort of have this soccer tournament thing. And if they win the tournament, they come the Inazuma, I guess is their word version of a soccer champion. Then they'll have the money to save the school. And they win the title. So they have these other teams that are sponsored, which I think they took from Tiger and Bunny. They have sponsors that use each team and they get to compete with them. They even have this little fun thing I do like is where they have a mini advertisement for the fake company. It feels like you're watching a travel agency ad for the one for this team. It's like, what, what is going on in this show? And then you get to the players. You get to the players. Now they got one player that... 
his backstory is real quick he has a brain tumor and we kept saying please let this kid be healed let them do something for this kid because if this kid dies at the end it won't be funny anymore right so if you haven't seen it he doesn't die at the end hooray we're glad. Yeah, we truly yeah. were glad because that, yes, that would have been dark. Been, yeah, and the thing and there is, were some dark parts in here with all the funniness and hilarity and the craziness. And wait till <laughs> we get to the opening and ending credits. <laughs> this yes. thing here is something special in terms. As I said, it's like a train wreck. <laughs> you can't turn it off. And you can't stop watching. And the characters, almost everyone, is a train wreck on its own. Each one is yes. a car in that train. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because when they get to the characters, their opponents, some of them are like t like seven feet tall, but they're supposed to be teenagers or kids, and you wonder, what are they taking? And then you have this team, and you have only have one that looks like he's gigantic, and the rest are either norm sort of normal looking or just practically the size of a gnome, and it's crazy, all working together. And they have this thing where they have powers like in the game they have special moves so in here they can really perform these special moves and nothing's out of the ordinary about these moves they have one move that is like the fire tornado which seems okay it seems like a big power type move for an anime but then you have one from the opponent's team and it's like um he blows a whistle and penguins come out of the ground to oh, hit the ball and they shoot the ball in the goal it's for like him penguin highway. <laughs> It's like, where are the penguins on the field? The, it goes, the wall! And it's just a wall. And it breaks every time, so your power is useless! <laughs> and they keep training to get these powers from Master Yi. They, uh, basically, his thing is, all his stuff looks stupid when he, get, he gives him the training, but it all actually turns out to mean something. So he's like a twisted version of Miyagi. Right. <laughs> now, on to the opening and ending credits. And this is no joke, and we would love to play part of this for you, but we were afraid that we would get a strike or a claim. This is the these mm, <laughs> the opening and ending credits are the worst we've ever seen for any anime ever. Let's start with the opening. Yes. The singing is atrocious. I am so sorry. I don't like to talk about people, but it is just atrocious. It's so atrocious that I would say, mute it, mute it, mute it. I can't take it anymore. Mute this, please. It was that bad, and then the action makes no sense. It's tilted, and it just, oh. It's like, imagine the best opening, one of the best openings you've ever seen. And Flip it over. <laughs> and then yes. the ending is no better. And do we mention that they sing both of these songs in English? Which was a nice attempt. Yes. And we will say when we we were kind of surprised in another way because when we watched in episode two, the original one, the singing wasn't really that bad. They no. still weren't professionals, but they sounded better. Yeah. And the lyrics made somewhat sense where it was just supposed to be, we're going to play a game, we're going to have a fun, we're a team, and we're going to win the day. It was very simple. I was like, okay, I could. I, that was actually a really fun song. You didn't mind it wasn't the best ever. Right. But here, it was just a bunch of nonsense lyrics, and it tried to make it sound like it was the most motivational thing you've ever heard. Now, full disclosure, this appears on demand under Disney. So it's possible uh, uh, that like, you know what? We don't want to pay for professionals. We're just going to, we don't care. Who's going to watch the show? Let's just throw something together and do an opening and ending. That's possible. Yes. And it's possible this was not the original opening and ending. That's true. And if it's not, let us know in the comments below where we can see the original. Right. Because this was and, and then the end, it looks like it tried to take a page from MHA, where they have a fantasy AU or UA fantasy um, universe with the regular MHA one. So, and Azuma tried to do the same thing here, but only in the end credits. And they have them where it looks like they took the designs from a character sheet where they're in different knight armors, battle armors, princess outfits, things that look like they're in a medieval style. But they don't move, and they're in these weird stand up pose like they're playing a, a chess game, and it's the singing about a girl's heart, and it, it means it's gonna rain when she's in love, it's gonna rain, and it's like, what does one have to do with the it other? It sounded like it was raining every time you heard a <laughs> lyric. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, if you do decide to, to see this,
this again after you hear it the first time because you, I know you don't believe us. Once you hear it the first time, then be sure to put it on mute every time the opening credits, the credits play, or just skip the ending credits altogether because right. you're not missing anything. Right. Again, though, if you want to watch this show, it is absolutely hilarious. It is the most fun you'll have. I think this is the most fun Rascals had. <laughs> Since watching the original Speed Racer, we watched on DVD where every episode she laughed the entire time. It's yes. that funny. And now, if this is your childhood, I am so sorry. <laughs> right, and like we said, this is the most recent one, and they haven't had another season set that we don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. The way it ends, we won't reveal what happens, but they sort of infer that they're going to have another team. Like, okay, this was the new team. Well, now New Pattern is a new team every season or something. So it sounded like there was going to be another Inazuma team from the way that two people were talking to each other. However, this came out in about 20, um, what, 17 or 18? Yeah, so it's pretty old now. And we, unless they have it and they just didn't put it on demand, we don't know if there's another season after this or if there's a whole new series, a whole new team. We have seen nothing about it even after we looked it up. So it's possible they just may have stopped for now. Now, if you want to dare to go for a few anime fans I think have gone before, <laughs> Rascal discovered that the other seasons are on YouTube yes. to watch for free. So we're going to give the first season a watch. Now we tried, and here's something weird that kept happening. We started on the first episode of the very first season of Inuzama. And every time we got within five minutes in, it froze up and then it would just leave. Leave. It kicked you out of the video. Back to the page to start. We did it five times. Yeah. Either there's a glitch or they don't want you to see how bad season <laughs> I don't know. If you right. tried it and watched it, let us know how it's gone for you in the right. comments. Oh, wait. One last thing I definitely need to bring up. We mentioned about the voice cast. Like we said, with a lot of people we knew in there. And it's obvious that they took designs from a lot of other animes. However, there is one character in here who has purple hair. And he has this movie. He keeps, he keeps trying to come up with a name. Ellery. I think it was Elliot, Elliot or Elliot. Elliot. I think it was Elliot. Elliot Ember. Elliot Ember. Yes. And he looks exactly like, uh, was it Toshiro from Bleach? No, no. That's Captain Hisugaya. He had the white hair. Okay. El Elliot Ember is the guy with the purple. Oh, the gray hair. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. The three different characters. Right. Sorry about that. Okay. Elliot Ember is the guy with the gray hair supposed to be like kind of like a Bakugo character yeah and he's always got an attitude and he's supposed it's to be just the soccer best it's just soccer and man it's supposed to be for kids but for some reason they keep having this kid take his shirt <laughs> right? off like stop 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 this is not right Put your clothes on <laughs> there's nothing there this is a kid keep the clothes on but he was a really weird character he had smoke colored hair i think and dark eyes right and he was just a jerk Kind of, of almost to the end. But the one you're talking about, yes, it looked like Captain Hisugaya, but did he have purple hair? No, I'm yeah, sorry, I was two different characters. Yeah, white hair. But I should bring that up is that we said this is a, like a next generation type team. Well, they really uh, have characters from the original series actually appearing here. All these, most of these opponents they go to uh, are actually opponents they had in the original or the original Inazuma team. When they kept building up Matt Ryan, became, then why are they really making such a big deal out of it? Well, we found out they were the first team. But the problem was. He appeared and we were like, oh, my Ryan, okay, he's going to bring something to this show. Oh, let's see if he comes on. He's a good guy. That's good. He doesn't do a dang thing. He's there one episode. Yeah. He it's the ball. He doesn't make the goal. And then he's gone. Right. And it was this whole buildup was like, if you were going to make a buildup about a character that's supposed to be a legendary, it should have been a legendary episode. Yeah. And, it and it's like, if that was supposed to be for the ones who love the original and never keep staying with this, you should have done something way better. Because they're like, oh, wow, they're going to, it's the old team with the new team. That's cool. And then you do that. And we did see him in the first episode. So we know that, yes, the series began with him. But again, right. hopefully and, we'll get to see it. Oh, time. and the names. They have so many ridiculous names. Like, one was literally named Buddy Cottontail. That, that's the name. All the human with a cottontail. And they also had a like a, a tanuki on their team, and it could turn into a human girl. 
and there was no nothing wrong with this or weird about it. And then I was trying to get to before the purple haired guy. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. He sounded like Patrick so much that I just kept imagining him calling him SpongeBob or Squidward. Like, hey, SpongeBob, I get the soccer ball. And it's well, we so. Kept thinking we were gonna see. Uh, the voice actor's name in the end, but we never Right, did. right. And his whole thing is that he kept trying to make a special move, and he kept saying, Fire Lemonade. And it's like, why do you keep saying Fire Lemonade? It was so stupid that even the other characters look at him like, this is a dumb name for a move. Why are you tell? Why do you keep naming it that? But if you want to have fun watching an anime that seems to have no purpose, <laughs> we recommend Inazuma Aries, I'm sorry, Inazuma 11 Aries, let me get it right, right. and where you can see it, it's probably on YouTube with the other series, which would be great, but if you were one of the people that happened to see it when it originally aired, or you're a fan of this franchise, let us know in the comments below, and let us know how the original series was, and how this stacks up for you in terms of more product being put out. It looks like when we looked on uh, Wikipedia, there were about 10 to 11 different seasons yeah. of various arts yeah. for it. So I'm, I'm sure at some point this series had to have at least a good, I'm sorry, this franchise had to have a good series or season at some point. Right. If you know what it is, let us know in the comments. Right. And if you haven't already, subscribe for updates and weekly videos on your favorite anime series animated shows and all things animation and things that are hilarious as well yes so thank you so much for watching i'm rascal entertainment and i'm mom entertainment have a tune-tastic day peace